it's Claire here with another EU VAT action update. It's taken us a while to give you the feedback from the David Gork meeting that we had 10 days ago, two weeks ago, partly because we wanted to see if they would actually come up with the goods. And the thing is that so far they haven't. We were promised by David Gork that HMRC was going to be doing everything it could to try and find ways to make our lives easier so we could actually comply with this legislation. But the one thing the UK government will not commit to is offering us an easement of a threshold so that the tiniest businesses can be exempt from these rules. Now, the problem with tinkering at the edges is when you have legislation that is pretty much impossible to comply with, tinkering around the boundaries doesn't actually help. For the smallest micro businesses, there isn't anything, even the one piece of data, the one piece of data to prove place of supply and the customer's address, even that doesn't help if your systems don't have a means to give you that data or to allow you to figure it out and then which VAT rate to apply during the shopping process or you can't display the correct price to the customer at the beginning of the shopping process. So the little tweaks are not going to fix this. The government will not go in and ask for the easement because technically it's not legal in the EU. The huge challenge we see is lots of other governments are doing this unofficially. They're saying to their smallest businesses, don't tell anyone, but don't worry about this. You'll be OK because the UK has implemented this so strongly and we've done almost a gold level implementation. It means that they can't say that. So we're stuck. The tiniest businesses are effectively collateral damage in this because there's no way of making the rules easier without the support of the EU Commission and the other 27 member states. And the UK government will not currently grant a threshold because it's using its negotiating brownie points to renegotiate the UK's EU membership on a wider basis. Now, obviously, we're hoping they'll change their minds on this. They've admitted that the legislation is fundamentally flawed. They've admitted these unintended, unintended consequences are massive. So what we're doing in the meantime, Juliet and I are going out to Brussels again tomorrow and Wednesday. So that is the 6th and 7th of October. We're meeting with very senior people in the EU Commission to push this on your behalf EU wide, because there is now an agreement that legislation will be proposed next year to bring in a threshold. That could still take years to negotiate. What we're going to be working towards for the next few days in Brussels is something that can be done in the meantime. So we can have some kind of threshold to say below this threshold, looking at a threshold that's based on your digital exports. Below this threshold, you revert to whatever the VAT policy is in your country. This is what we're going to be pushing for. We can't get the answer with the UK government, so we still need your help. If you're based in the UK, please get your MP and your MEPs to write to David Gork to tell him that he needs to take brave action and show leadership in the interim between now and this new legislation being passed. Also, please get them to write to Pierre Moscovici at the EU Commission. He's ultimately got the authority to potentially bring forwards an element of this legislation to mean we could get the easement sooner. So we can still make a difference. We're very hopeful that there's going to be positive discussions in Europe, in Brussels, in the next few days. Please, could you hold the space for us? Send your positive vibes, your miracles, your breakthroughs, whatever it is that works for you. Send them our way for the next two days and we will do our best to help people understand that waiting until the legislation is passed in two to five years time is not good enough, that we need action now. Thank you. We'll report back after Brussels.